So we did it. We solved the problem of weight versus speed versus efficiency. Uh, we found the perfect setup, at least for me, for multi-GP uh, regional finals. We came away with the win. So let me tell you about this amazing setup. And the first thing you need to know, your 1500 batteries, if you're flying something else and you're overcharging this to make it, you don't need them. Nope. It will do six laps on just a 1300, not even an overcharged 1300, but just a normal 1300. You're like telling yourself, like, Brian, you're crazy. This is not possible, but I have video proof. Uh, and it's right here, this, this Lumineer 2206, uh, 2350 kV motors. These, these are the magic motors of the century. Uh, Efficiency-wise, these are not the fastest motors, they're not the lightest motors, but they are the most efficient things I've ever seen. And if you pr uh, pair them with a nice efficient prop and a decent weighted quad, you get a winning combination. Um, so if you've been following me, you know, um, I started out the season on a 2204. Uh, I took this to like three races, I think, and I lost every single one. And then we're talking like second or third place. So I didn't lose like horribly. Um, but one of the places I lost in to, it was in Topeka to, to Chance uh, from Colorado who was flying the Lumineers. Uh, and he was, it was a very similar track to the Multi-GP. It was a 20... Uh, same kind of two minute format. He was doing 21 seconds and I was doing 22 or 23 seconds. I had a 1500 milliamp hour battery and he was running a 1300. And I went over and asked him, I remember I was like, what size battery are you running? And he says 1300. I'm like, you're crazy, there's no way. Um, because I couldn't do it on any of my setups ever that I've tested. Um, but anyways, so these Lumineers were out of stock. I mean, I knew they were amazing, but I couldn't get my hands on them. But that's easy because we have mini quad test bench. And, I'm a real world test guy, I like real world test things, but uh, I've, I've got to go and find it. So now I'm giving you, I guess, the real world test. But on paper, I can show you uh, three or four motors. I don't have all of them here, but that are very close to these Lumineers. One, the first one, uh, the Brother 2206, 2140 kV. Uh, I remember going on mini quad test bench right after the event and looking it up. And it's like, wow, there's a motor with the same exact specs. So, and I had some in my house because I have everything in my house. So I threw them on a quad and took them out to our mock-up track and started flying them. Um, they flew okay, uh, I think 23-ish seconds, something like that. Um, they were good in the fact that you could just full throttle the course on them and not worry about the battery. Um, they were bad in the fact that the control was, was pretty poor. Um, so I could fix the control problem by upping the prop size, uh, but then my efficiency went to hell. So um, that motor, didn't make the cut. From there, I looked around. Actually, the Emacs, uh, the nice Emacs, the old school 2205, uh, 2300, which has reverse threads on it. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, I love that. Um, has also very similar specs. So uh, I put these on and tried these. These had better control than the 2140s. Um, they were like 23 seconds. I think they were just a little bit slower than what I ended up with. Um, and then the next motor I tried, which I knew wasn't even close looking at mini quad test bench, but this is one that Zero did his six laps on. These, these here, um, the 2306-2400 kV motor um, are, are reasonably efficient. They, they are heavy for me. I'm a weight guy and oh my gosh, these boat anchors to get around the course. Uh, but this is one of the best flying quads uh, out of all that I tested. These are, these are very nice motors. They have good authority. They spin the prop well. And I, I, I could do a 21 second lap on these. Um, these were the fastest, but I was limping through that last lap and I was overcharging my 1500 to make it. Um, so it didn't quite cut it. But when I finally got the Magic Motors, the, the Lumineer 2206s, nothing but impressed. These, these were amazing motors. Uh, I started out with a 1500 battery thinking, oh man, it's gonna be close. And it wasn't even close. And like I said, I ran seven laps just to run seven laps, just to, just to do it. And, and that thing made the seven laps no problem. That battery was um, 364. Uh, when it came down on the voltage, like in some of my other setups, uh, like I'll show this, this, this is a 2205. This thing did five laps on a 1500 and the battery was very, very similar. Um, so this is light, 
uh, or lighter, I think, than my setup. Maybe this one's heavier. Um, but um, the, the question at the beginning of the year was, was weight. Can I make up for speed in weight? And the answer is no. Uh, weight is not necessarily faster, and it's also not necessarily more efficient. Um, the number one most important thing when you want efficiency is your motor and the number two most important thing is your prop and then the mo number three thing I think is weight although weight always has to be in reason if you take these motors and you put them into a 300 gram quad uh, I don't think it's going to perform as well I had some issues I put them on a heavier quad and it certainly was a little bit more of a handful around the track but this setup this setup came out to be 255 255 without a battery um, and flies amazing it is it is locked in it gets around uh, the course very well so I couldn't be happier this is this is one of the best setups I've ever seen I will keep this and and use it for practice and any kind of endurance races that we have um, seven laps at speed that was I don't know that that was well over two two minutes and 30 seconds of flight time and, and it just kept going forever so uh, I got to do more testing I know they have a 24 kV uh, 24 yeah 2450 kV motor that I'd like to test chance said he was he was gonna switch over to that one to keep up with people like me and I'm switching to his motor to keep up with people like him so um, um, yeah that's it uh, hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and um, don't forget to reverse your props and uh, I'll leave you some flight footage of me missing six laps by like that much. Seven. Less than five. Good start. Oh, it's a gate or something. Brain drain 27.6 Sky Bandit 33.3 Amari 33.6 Woody 39.2 Brain drain 23.3 Nice and Amari 24.5. There's not worth One minute left. Over. But it was livable. It was right there that turret flipped on me. There we go. Oh, it was upside down. I guess it did just a little bit there for me, too. Woody 32.2. 45 seconds left. Brain drain 23.6. That was better than what he did have. Amari 23.8. Good job. 30 seconds left. Brain drain 22.7. Woody 31.7. 15 seconds left. Amari 22.8. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One. Nice. Brain drain 22.9. Brain drain done in 2.0.3. Oh, uh, uh, Amari 23.6. Amari done in 2.08.5. Oh, <laughs> Woody 33.2. Woody done in 2.16.4. Yeah.